one I use this Sizzix Framelits by Stephanie Bernard and it is the side stick uh, framelits and I pretty much stuck to that design just changed it up a little bit and added additional mats so I'll go ahead and show you my card and here it is oopsie <laughs> that's a little shorter huh okay there we go so I ended up cutting two additional mats for the um, this panel here and also the little steps um, just to give it a little bit more of a contrast because I had this pink and then this other darker pink and they kind of were too much alike so I wanted to add an additional mat so that's what I did uh, I also cut this love you with the dies that are provided and each of the hearts on this one back here I added a little bit of a little squirrely thing here with an arrow and attached that to the last panel and then I had the Tim Holtz the, he has a strip die that has the little sentiments on it and I cut the, the 14 and stuck that in the center step and then here I have some Valentine ribbon with the little hearts and also this metal uh, I think it's a silver heart from Michaels and they come in a strand in the bead section and then I have a heart punch that just cuts out um, a row of hearts so the negatives of that I just added along here so that's my first card and then my second card I ended up using the MFT Happy Hedgehogs and um, I'll show you that now uh, well let me show you the some of the items I used to to make that I have had this impression obsession die and I've never used it I it is a really cute and that's what the die looks like so I used that on my card and then I also used the lawn fawn grassy border die and I'll go ahead and show you my card. I think it came out so cute. There it is. Super, super cute. I also have this Martha Stewart uh, punch and it has hearts on it. So I just punched and used these tiny little hearts to add to this hedgehog. He's holding a little banner with three tiny hearts. And then I used the middle size heart, this one, for the hedgehog here. Because what I did with my stamps is I stamped them and then I enlarged them a little bit on my scanner. So that way that image wouldn't be so tiny. So I colored these up with my Copics and this is the grassy border die that I used. And then I wanted these little pink hearts with the Impression Obsession die to look like little flowers. And then I have two different sizes of punches of uh, the clouds and I just... Um, popped them up on foam tape just to give it some dimension and then the background paper I just used white cardstock and then I um, used my distress inks to color the background and the ones that I used are Broken China Tumbled Glass and peacock feathers. So I started with this darker one and then I used the lighter ones going down on the page. And I popped him up, I popped the stump up, and then this little guy, he looks like he's jumping in the air, so I added an action wobble to him. Super cute, right? So that's the front, and then on the inside I used some uh, heart um, valentine paper for my stash. Then I added these two mats, a red one and a white one, and I stamped Sending Hedgehugs. And then these little uh, hearts are also from the 
Martha Stewart punch. So those are my two cards, guys. And I feel like I'm running out of time making more Valentine cards, but I've got two more uh, in the pipeline. So as soon as I get those finished, I'll go ahead and share those with you. Anyway, thank you all for watching my uh, video. And if you like these two card projects, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And thanks again for watching. Take care.